So yeah. Um, question we've been getting: What happened to Trill Billy? Where's Trill Billy? Trill Billy, Trill Billy, Trill Billy. Brandon, where you at? I have not heard from Trill Billy. Where's Trill Billy? Um, apparently Trill Billy has some personal things going on right now. Mm -hmm. Um, so he's removing himself from the channel. Interesting. Um, me personally, how things went down, um, I wouldn't be opposed to it. I wouldn't be opposed to it at all. The homie, the homie would be welcome back if he wanted to come back. Um, again, we would all talk as a group, you know, to, to make sure everybody is on the same page because just because I had a conversation doesn't mean Ross shouldn't have one. I think he needs his own separate one as well. Um, but just me personally, I wouldn't oppose it. I, I'd be cool with it. That's good, bro. Lunch chilling, chilling, man. Ready for this? <sighs> Yes, I am, bro. Uh, this is what the people want, right? Yep, for a very long time, bro. Yeah, man. So I think it's time to give them what they want. Let's do it. How do you feel about it? Uh, I think a much needed conversation needs to be had, definitely, uh, on the platform to answer all the questions that we've been getting for years. Right. So I think it's about that time, man. I think it is. Yeah. Let's do it. I think he should come on in. Yeah. All right. Oh, fellas, fellas. Wow. Look what we got here. Yeah. Yes. True Billy only. himself. Yes. The legend, the man, the myth. Oh, stop it, stop it. So, oh, yeah. So, we're, we're, we're here today to kind of do our own version of a real techie talk. Yeah. Without it's the... It's the clutch table talk. Without the entanglement. Look at that. that yeah, there's no entanglement. No entanglement. No, none of that. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. No. What do we start with this? Uh... Um, I guess we can start with what you've been up to, bro. Let, let, let's let's dive into that first. Yeah. You know, we outside of this YouTube stuff, we do care about your health and well being and, and what you've been going through. So, what you've been up to since the last time you was on the channel, bro? Like, what's been going on? And this this is gonna be a real like conversation. This is gonna be, yep. you know, because people are always wanted to know what happened. Mm -hmm. So, um, right. before we move further with anything. We wanted to kind of give people a good point of view of what each one of us had going on, what we felt. Mm -hmm. And this will be raw opinion, man. This yep. it has to be straight honesty. So start off how you been there. I mean, uh, just like, you know, everybody else, you know, of course this past year definitely was a challenge to everybody. It was very unexpected. Mm -hmm. Um I will say I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be here, you know, pretty much addressing the situation. You know that pretty much took place, but um, like they're saying, I mean, they they care about you know, you know my well being, in which you know I, you know I appreciate that, you know, especially coming from Dub, you know, been in pretty much ten years, we've been cool, Ross, we've been cool about mm -hmm. what five years now, mm -hmm. so, but um, I know there's been a lot of questions, you know, my disappearance was very, was it was unexpected, mm -hmm. you know, I definitely um. Uh, it was a hard thing to do, but throughout the years, you know, I dealt with, you know, of course, you know, reality, like what everybody deals with, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, when the camera goes off, you know, it's back to reality, you know, um, unfortunately, that was one point to where, you know, all the support, you know, the fan base, the positive energy, you know, from Instagram and even in the YouTube comments, mm -hmm. it still it. How do I put this? At one point, it just wasn't enough to where I could no longer, you know, be there for y'all. You know, I know that sounds very selfish, but I really have to look out for myself. Um, I mean, that, that's so. Just take me back. You know, yeah. Let's let's go back to where this shit started. So, mm -hmm. I, I personally felt. Um, some, something happened. I think mm -hmm. I think Brandon went to the hospital or something. Mm -hmm. And we was trying to check on you. Mm -hmm. And from that point, um, you wouldn't respond to us. 
Like, yeah. I, was, I was calling you and texting you, and I think Ross Ross reached out to you, and we was trying to figure out what was going on. Because mm-hmm. I think before that, we were supposed to record, and you were having some type of troubles about getting to the recording. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you went to the hospital. Mm-hmm. And then from there, we stopped hearing from you. Yeah. What happened in that moment? Well, pretty much prior to that day, um, I was at a point to where I was mentally drained and you know physically. Um, we had just started up the podcast, mm-hmm. and we were just randomly recording like every day. I mean, any major thing popped off every day. We most likely record, you know, if not every day, maybe every other day. Right. Um, like I said, I'm keeping it hundred with y'all. Yeah, I had transportation sure. issues. Mm-hmm. And it was at one point to where I moved further away from Doug's house, you know, back then. And, you know, I was using Uber. Now, using Uber to and from and even to work on a daily basis, like I said, you know, that adds up. You know, I mean, it was, what, 12 to $14, you know, here and there. Like I said, every day, every other day, we're doing like a podcast and, you know, recording. And other issues, you know, of course, you know, just being... I guess you could say being being the oldest, you know, sibling of the group, you know, all the issues, you know, you know, they, you know, you pretty much you can. And just still trying to be a good son, you know, to to, you know, my mom and whatnot, you know, financially. Um, it was an issue with me, you know, pretty much having, you know, my own vehicle or whatnot. And, you know, mentally it just drains you. And some happened, you know, of course, you know, with, you know, with, uh, like I said, still helping out my mom and, you know, just dealing with everything, you know, it's just, you just feel a type of like collapse mm-hmm. to where like, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't do it no more. Mm-hmm. You know, I had to really much, you know, pretty much see, okay, how am I going to, you know, save, you know, more money, you know, financially wise, you know, how am I going to, you know, get out of this situation? You know, it took everything from me, you know, not to, you know, step away because I already knew what was going to happen. You know, if I were to directly tell Doug what happened, you know, rat mode, you know, one of the main things, you know, communication is key, this, that, and the third. Honestly, I didn't, I, I didn't want to hear it. I was like, you know what, look, mm. I'm going to go, you know, I got to you know, step away. But like I said, it was taking a toll on me, man. And like I said, it was one of the hardest things for me to do. And see, that's, that's big to me because I always feel like, just let me know what's going on. Right. You know, I, I always looked at the situation where it, it, it kind of, to me, it was past YouTube. It was like, as the homie, I felt like I wasn't, we wasn't included in what was going on. Because, I mean, we was offering rides, um, I felt like you. I was trying to help so much that it was like, maybe I'm doing too much. You know what I'm saying? And from that point, it just, you know, again, you're dealing with what you're dealing with, but you're kind of keeping it in. And we didn't know that it was getting this big. And, <clears throat> you know, I felt the same way in the help aspect. Because I'm like, man, I'm trying to help the homie get to recording, um, you know, figure out what, you know, the commute situation, you know, advice on how to get a vehicle. Right. And I, I felt like the more I helped, the more you was like stubborn in a way, you know, and that, that was just my personal feeling. And then especially when you just kind of went away, we didn't hear from you for like two weeks for recording. And it kind of, right. it kind of felt awkward to people because they like, Oh, yo, there's one video without Brandon. There's two videos without Brandon. Hey, what Brandon is? Yeah. And we literally on camera like, we don't know where is Brandon. And um, and I mean, I feel what you were, you know, we all got the moments, you know, but I felt that as well in the helping side. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, you know, I remember, you know, the few times, you know, you know, you and, you know, Doug just, you know, picking me up, taking me home. Like Doug said, I'm, I'm very stubborn. I don't like, I don't like to be helped. You know, I love helping people. You know, I don't expect it in return. I always feel like I'm can be, I'm a burden to people. Right. You know, and I know everybody goes through something. Trust me. 
if last year didn't, you know, didn't teach you that, you know, I don't know what will. And I just felt like I was just a bother. I know everybody had, you know, their own issues or whatnot. And I didn't want to just pour my issues out on anybody. I mean, even, even besides that day, I've had, I've been dealing with, you know, issues, you know, man, I want to say, you know, 2018. Um, I'll keep it 100 too. Also, you know, during the time, you know, the peak, the rise of our channel, um, I got evicted from my apartment. And once again, because, you know, I was trying to help others, you know, financially too as well, you know, and I got behind and that crushed me. And yet I was still, every time, you know, pretty much put my feelings to the side, you know, put on a laugh and a smile, you know, for the club squad. Because, you know, it, it made me feel good. You know, it was a, you know, sort of, you know, happiness. Wow. You know, but, you know, that crushed me, you know, as a man, you know, feel like you're not really taking care of your, you know, responsibilities. You know, it, it's a horrible feeling. To where I was, you know, borderline homeless. If it wasn't for a good friend of mine, you know, that took me in, to, you know, you know, to, you know, help me out. And I think, I think that's the part that gets me. You know, it's like, we, we always had your back. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it, it was those moments because I always felt like you shouldn't have let it, you shouldn't have let it get that far, you know, because damn, damn YouTube. You know what I'm saying? We've been rocking before we cut the camera on. Right. And I just felt personally like, yo. You know, that, that all ties in with, because you were, you know, you were helping out, you know, you know, your folks too at the time. Yeah. And then once again, it all goes down to like, I just don't want to be a bother to nobody. No, I get that. You know, it's just a pride in you. I know that's a, it can be a curse and a blessing. Yeah, no, nah, nah, yeah. You know, you know, uh, I, I wasn't editing at all. You know, Warren was literally, you know, doing all the editing. I had no knowledge of editing videos. I'm talking you know, about it, it was to a point to where he pretty much <laughs> just staying up, you know, trust me, this man, you know, having, you know, two, you know, I think, you know, the side was probably still, well, yeah, the side was, you know, barely born, you know, just being a family man, you know, and a husband, staying up to damn near maybe two, even three o'clock in the morning editing videos, you know, I didn't ask for no type of revenue from the channel. I somewhat felt like I deserve some, but at the same time, you know, I just felt like, well, I'm not, I'm not doing, you know, nothing extra to where I felt like I deserve it. And pretty much I just felt trapped. I'm like, damn, I can't, what can I do? You know, I can't just literally be like, you know, hey, blah, blah, you know, hey, split this, you know, so-and-so, because it just felt like it just wasn't fair. And so, I mean, like I said, I just felt trapped. I'm like, well, damn. I kind of use that as a way to, hey, well, I can step, I can step away. You know, it wouldn't be such a big deal, but you know, in the long run, you know, it was, you know, because like I said, you know, you can't, you can't put a price on the positivity that the Clutch Squad, you know, brought to me. Right. You know, you can't in general. So, How do you feel, man? Um, honestly, I was. I was upset with you for a minute, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, because I was like, you left right when we got at 100K, bro. Like, no, 200K. Like, you left when things was going up, and it sucked, because it's like, you was there when I was at my lowest point, bro. Yeah. We had real conversations. You had my back. You was there for that whole movement. Me went off myself. You was there for that. And it made me mad because it's like, bro, if you going through something, if there's anybody you could talk to, I'm right here. Or you can say something, bro. Like, it was just one of those things where it was like, damn, bro. Like, I thought we was better than that. You know what I'm saying? I thought... This was more than just this YouTube stuff. And I, I get that you was going through something personal and you was feeling like you didn't want to be a burden. But at the end of the day, bro, if we say we are friends, you know, homies, 
before this YouTube stuff, I, I got to know you more. Then it's like, if we ain't trying to help you do what we trying to do together as a unit, then that should let you know how we, how someone rock with you. So it wasn't like it may have been an inconvenience at the time, but guess what? One of the one of us was gonna do something. You know what I'm saying? One of us was gonna try to help out, figure out what was going on. We was gonna try to do something. Cause it's like, at the end of the day, people knew us three. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm yeah. saying? People got accustomed to us three. Yeah, there was a lot of comments and jokes on you and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, when you was gone, yeah. all we saw for damn near a year yeah. straight right. consistently was, where's right. True Billy, where's True Billy, where's True Billy? So it's like, you was a presence. You were part of what we were doing. You were yeah. that presence. So it's like, at the end of the day, you stepped away from something that he had the vision for. We had to see it. And it's like, I'm thinking you seeing it because I'm starting to see it. And like, we at this point now, we're almost at a million, bro. A million subs, bro. Yeah. And it's changed my life. It's changed his life. It's changed people around us lives. So it's like, you were supposed to be there on that ride of everything starting to change on a, uh, on a, you know, emotional level and on a financial level, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I've, I've never been in a situation in my life. I don't work, Brandon. I stopped working a year ago. Yeah. This is what I do now. And it's like, that was his idea for all of us. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you were supposed to be there. That's And that's why it made me so mad, because it's like, bro, this is a, an opportunity of a lifetime that many people don't have or many people don't get. And it, it just felt like I know he was going through something, but he could have said something, bro. He he was supposed to be here with us on this journey to a million and reaping the benefits that he deserves. You know what I'm saying? And it just, it, it really sucked because it's like knowing someone that knows yo, seeing you at your lowest and then you see them at their lowest, but they just shut down. They just go ghost. I hit you up that same year, invited you to my birthday shindig, and you said, ah, I got to work. And that was the last time I heard from you. Yeah. And I was like, well, I'm not reaching out no more. Because it's like, at this point, it's like, damn, bro. Like, he, I wanted to just see how you was doing, bro, just to see you on some chill stuff. Because we weren't about to be on no, no petty stuff and, yeah. and slight you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Even when people made those type of comments, well, you know, Brandon wouldn't miss anyway. I was like, that we don't we don't tolerate that type of stuff, <laughs> bro. We we yeah. checking people immediately. Are, are you blocked? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like we don't we don't entertain that. We, we may have our differences, but at the end of the day, you was there from day one, and people knew who you were. People knew your name yeah. throughout the world, not just in one city. People knew who Trill Billy Brand was. So it was one of those things where it's like that that kind of sucked, bro. Cause it's like, I'm I'm thinking we cool. I'm thinking we brothers. You know, so we talk to each other about serious stuff off camera. So I would expect my brother to say something to me when he's feeling like something. Cause if that's the case, if we not on that time, then what were we doing? What was all of this? Because right. this is not you can't fake this camaraderie. Right. People do it all the time, but you either have it or you don't. Right. True. And every time we get we get comments all the time, oh, bro, this is like a brotherhood. Y'all seem like family. Like, I, I love this dynamic, even when you was there. So it was like, it's like, to me, I thought that was just like, damn, bro. Like, it's different when you see someone you know just completely walk away from the opportunity that was there. You said it yourself. When we got that plaque, you said you never received, like, an award. Like anything like, like that, that. and he, it was like for me. That was big. That's like all right. He's yeah. never received something like that. I would think you would want to hold on to something like that and keep expounding. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, bro, whether it's all said and done, when it comes to this YouTube stuff, bro, it you gotta have solid people around you, solid individuals that got your best interest. Not when these cameras are on. When these cameras are off, they got your back. And right. that's where I was upset with you on because it's like I really it's like damn bro, I, I 
Brandon saved in my phone as someone that I could call on, talk to, you know, say if I ever really needed to, he talked to me, it's whatever. He saved in my phone for a reason. And the nigga just went ghost when we just started to blow up, bro. And it's like, damn, yeah. dog. Like, all right, then. Well, I, I pray that you, you're doing good. I hope you're getting your stuff together. That was always my comment. I hope you're doing good. It just sucks. He just dipped on us like that. And we don't know why. I never knew really why. So that was right. that was how I felt about it. And like I said, I understand you was really feeling pressured and everything was coming down on you. You felt like, well, shit, might as well just back away from it. But it's like, hell, if you needed to take a break, you could have said something. Yeah. That would have I mean, been easier. Trust me, all that was running through my mind, but it's like... <laughs> felt like Doug didn't want to hear it no more, man. I mean, I, you know, I, I done, I done had my errors a lot, and you know, that came with a lot of rants from Doug. You know, not no minutes, you know, damn near hours of, you know. But see, one thing about me, like, let me just kick it back to the beginning. Like, when I, when I, you know, I was always trying to create something, right? You know, we we've been doing videos, you know, since I met you, and before that, yeah, and. I always said, bro, we should have been making something like this is something yeah. we did. And, you know, when I came up with the idea, I was the one that, because it was a bunch of people in our videos. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you seen a lot of the homies was able to come through and record yeah. and stuff like that when they had time. Y'all two were the ones that actually ended up sticking around because I had more of the free time than to yeah. do videos. So I'm like, well, shit, <clears throat> since we're here, let's do some videos. You know what I'm saying? Let's create something. I put my money into it. I mean, this is money that. I already didn't have to spend. That's another thing, too. Yeah. You know, that was right. money that I already didn't have to spend. So even when the finances started to come yeah. in, it wasn't a lot like that. But at the same time, it was still to keep afloat what I was, I'm paying for this, I'm paying for that, I'm paying for this, Adobe, you know, I'm, I'm making sure we got the, the editing software and everything to make sure, you know, we can do the videos and edit them. And, you know, the, this lens, this, this, um, this mic, you know what I'm saying? Nobody was able to put in. You know what I'm saying? So I was really looking yeah. at, at that as like, you know, it, it takes money to make money. And at the time, I was a sole investor because, again, I'm the only one that had the vision. I was never mad that other people, I got a lot of homies that could be in videos, but that's not their cup of tea. You know what I'm saying? And I don't yeah. slide nobody for that. I respect that. But I knew at the time, this is my vision. I can't be mad at somebody for not being able to invest in my vision. Y'all in the videos, but, you know, it was me and Ross, we had our issues. You know what I'm saying? Because it was just like, yeah, I don't see it. And sometimes it would frustrate me, and it would make me, like, kind of just be like, man, dog, y'all don't understand. This, we can do this, we can do that. But as you start to slowly see what I was saying happening, then you was like, oh, okay. So I was trying to make ways for people to be financially good, my mindset was always like, we can all eat. We can all eat out here, fam. We can create videos and eat off this and do clothes and do everything else. I mean, I was doing photography, videography. I picked right. up every goddamn trade you could think of because in my mind, I was going to do something extra and better than what I was at a nine to fucking five. Right. You know, so when, we, when it started to become lucrative and we was able to monetize and stuff like that. And I'm like, you know what? Let's let's do videos. Make a vlog channel. Mm -hmm. Make your own channel. Yeah. You know, let's 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 branch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It is if I, I could have been selfish just like, nah, this is my idea. This is this nah, this that's, that's not in my heart, bro. I want everybody to make it. I wanted you to be able to create with the willingness of what you wanted to do. Brandon is phenomenal at shoes. He know you know, he's a sneakerhead. One of the first true sneakerheads that I met, or one of the very few ones that I met. I was like, bro, you can do a whole sneaker page. That community is crazy. I told you on the homie that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't charge nobody for these ideas. Niggas charge you for the shit like that. I know I told you that. I'm gonna need, I'll be joking with Ross about that, but that's because, you know, there's you well, know, <laughs> But if niggas really charge for that. Hey, you know, remember that idea I gave you? You use that. I'm gonna need my oh yeah, my lawyer, my lawyer gonna come holler at you because you use that name I told you to use. <laughs> I don't do shit like that. What's the point? I know you got me if I need something. Mm -hmm. And I thought the same, 
You know what I'm saying? And I still continue to feel the same. But that's now you see where we're rocking in. Just like Ross said, you were supposed to be in that position. Right. And like I said, you know, I, I, I had a lot of regrets too. But it's just like, damn, you know, a part of me was like, hey, look, I haven't heard from, you know, the bar Ross, man, in months, you know, which is understandable. I'm like, man, I doubt they even want me back, you know. Why should they even try to come back? Because, you know, it was right horrible. Yeah, exactly, you know, yeah. <laughs> And also, you know, that, times, yeah, that, that ties in with the whole, one of the statements you had said, and... <laughs> you misinterpreted that statement. I mean... You did. Did I? But then... Is that... Okay, okay, okay. Say, okay, say okay. What the statement is. I understand why you said it, because, you know... What was the statement? Pretty much you said, you know, I don't have friends. I have just business associates. Pretty much, as in, if you ain't doing your part for the team, you know, hey, move around. Like I said earlier in this video, unfortunately, man, I wasn't carrying my weight. I don't remember that. I don't and remember I, I, I remember it. No, I'm, right. I'm serious. Like, because yeah, think yeah. about it. I but you were been, frustrated. Now, I understand why, because, you know, at that time, it's like, it wasn't no shots at nobody. It was just as in, like, you see a whole bunch of people around you still, you know, bullshit. I'm not just talking about friends. You know, just society in general and be like, damn, you know. You see some, you know, all these memes and whatnot. You know, oh, like, oh, man, a team consists of, you know, everybody, so and so. So I get what you was, you know, when you said that. But you know, I I felt like I I was in that category. I'm like, damn, I wasn't doing my, you know, my part. I don't feel like I would have ever came at it like that. I feel like I would have been like, in order, a team is people all coming together to make a common goal work right. more efficient. Because if I'm editing all the videos on my own. I got to go to work. I'm still going to work, waking up 5, yeah. 6 in the morning. I'm taking the kids to, you know, and, and everybody else really ain't got the same responsibility. At the yeah. end of the day, what am I supposed to feel like? Like, I'm, I got to edit. I got to yeah. do all yeah. the videos. I got to edit at night to make sure all the videos go out. And right. y'all responsibility was to just come sit in the video, talk, and then go home. Yeah. And then people complain. Yeah. That was my biggest thing. I'm like, how can niggas complain when I'm sitting up here doing all this work and I'm still trying to help? I'm still like, okay, well, just bring me the ride. At that point, I'm like, well, damn, like you doing all this to to get people to see yeah. something. Now, are you are you holding people to a vision? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or are you trying to show them something? Like, am I am I struggling to keep y'all onto something that y'all don't want to do? Right. And Ross clicked. He understood. Okay, shit. All right. This shit. Okay. I see what you... Okay. All right. And then I thought you clicked. Because especially when you saw that plaque, you was just like... You was like almost in tears almost. Because you yeah, was just I like, couldn't oh, believe it. I never, I never got an award. And from that moment, yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, we good. But all I was telling you, I was like, man, I sold you the laptop. I can teach you how to edit. Watch this video when you come over. I can, and it was always to better. I said, bro, you can use that as an enhancement for your skills. It's just to the point to where I stopped feeling like I had to stop holding niggas' hands and let y'all kind of like get it on your own. Because if I kept on stressing about it, I actually quit. For people that don't know, like I, I quit. It was a point in time where I was done. Then we stopped recording, and people don't even know that. Probably won't even be able to tell. Mm -hmm. After what video, but I quit. So I was like, fuck it. Like, niggas don't see, you know, what it is you're trying to do. And um, I'm tired of forcing people. You know, I got problems too. You know, I got, you know, children to raise, and I don't, I don't put that shit on nobody else. But I was like, well, damn, if I can get up, that's just like, now nah, niggas said they want something, but they don't want it. Niggas don't want it. Niggas don't want to stop working. People don't want it. Because you know what comes with that? Fucking sacrifice. You busting your ass. You might you might not sleep that much. You might only sleep three hours tonight. Mm -hmm. That shit ain't yeah. just nothing to tweet. That's some reality shit. I've been there. You know, and it's just my thing for this crew <laughs> was where the fuck we headed right now. It's exactly what the hell I was saying. Yo, let's keep this shit authentic. Let's be us. Watch what the fuck right. gonna happen. Look at it. And that's not cockiness. It was just the fact that 
Bro, we earned this shit. We work hard for this shit. Just like you said, we was just recording when to record. We didn't really have structure because shit, it was yeah. nobody to give us, nobody gave us a rule and say, hey, this is how you YouTube. <laughs> we learned as we went. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when you left, man, I, I felt slighted and like as hell. Like, I felt like, you know what? Mm. I did everything I could. And then outside of YouTube, as a homie, I wasn't getting no no type of conversation. So I was like, well, damn, bump videos. Yeah. The last time, I, like I said, you was in the hospital and I was concerned with like, man, you homie straight. And then when I didn't hear nothing back, I think you text me from the time I was contacting you, you waited like two yeah, and a half weeks. Midnight or something like that. Yeah, the two weeks. It was like two weeks, two and a half weeks later. The only reason why I really yeah, did that too, cause it's like, I knew, you know, a friend of ours' wedding was was happening, and so I'm like, all right, you know, I ain't, you know, it's already gonna yeah, be awkward. Gonna have to see you. Yeah, you know, so I'm like, well, hey, look, man, you know, I just gave him confirmation. I'm like, hey, I, I had, you know, I had to step back. You know, I see you at the wedding, which that took a lot for me to even show up there. But did we have a problem? Oh no, I wasn't gonna, you know, put it out, you know, in the front like that, you know. So, you know, that it took a lot. I had to, you know. Put it aside, you know, as well. You know, it took everything for me. There was never no issue, you know, nothing to where like, nah, man, yeah. fuck that, you know, no, no, nothing like that. <laughs> no, it's never, never, no, nothing. Uh, so there's never no situations where like, nah, man, if I see him gonna be on site, none of that bullshit, you know, nothing. Mm-hmm. Um, well, like, no, really. no, I mean, it's just, you know, <laughs> your rants and stuff. It's like, damn, man, like. Shit, what can I do? You know, man, I, I'm constantly, you know, not constantly bullshitting. Or, or, you know, he don't want to hear, it, you know, he don't deserve to hear it, man. So I had to do what I had to do. Um, even before that statement, you know, I was dealing with another issue into where I didn't record for, I think I missed two videos or something, and that pissed this man off. When I tell you communication is key, we gotta we gotta talk every day. And I think I did it. It, it ain't even that. And that mother, he said, bro, this nigga done moved to another country. And I was like, bro. Alright, this this how I I'm feel. Trying to come up with rent, bro. Look, <laughs> this, this, but you didn't say that. See? I did. This is how I feel on that. Why is it that we when we trying to build something that could be a career, its own career, we don't give a fuck. But when it comes to going into that nine to five job, we quick to say, hey. Hey, I'm not feeling well. Why? Why do you call your job when you're not feeling well? You don't come in because you know what's gonna happen to you. Yeah. Oh, 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 homie. Oh, oh, nah. You ain't got to clock in, fam. Go ahead and take this pink slip. You good? Yeah. So we don't. We didn't take. Yeah. We we wasn't gonna take what we doing serious, but we gonna take working for somebody. And again, that's not slighting nobody that's working with somebody. But if you and your crew and we always talking, look, man, I hate working for. Man, I want to do something on my own. I want to build something. Okay, we building it. It's going to take us communicating. Yeah. We all got three different lives. So we need to communicate to know, hey, Ross, you, you, you whoopty whooping? Okay, cool. You, you, you down? You good for it? You straight on your end? Okay, Brent, you, you good? Because now we're talking about three different schedules. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So when somebody don't want to say something or I don't know you're not coming up with rent. So I don't know what's going on. I just know I don't hear from you. We about to record the next day or the next couple of days. It's a text. Especially when niggas have their phone in their hand 24-7. You can't tell me right. you don't want to come. You know, and that's when I just started to feel like, man, I, I, I developed a different mentality now. Because I'm just like, okay, I don't, I don't beg nobody for nothing. I tell you, one time, two times, after that, okay, cool. I'll do the shit myself. Or you're not going to be in it. There's no disrespect, but it's because some, you got to treat it with that same level of respect you do for your job. Mm-hmm. And I just felt like you wasn't doing it. I felt like you, I the homie. I don't gotta tell him nothing. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna see him when I see him. No, nah, it's just home. like I just knew, knew it was gonna come. But I'm like, man, I don't got the energy to hear. So you think if you would have told me like, hey, bro, I'm having a problem with struggling, you know, trying to make rent and stuff, you think I would have been mad? I mean, you would have went. I feel like you would have went on once again like that rent mode again. I'm just like, oh, oh there you go. Not making the rent. I don't no, know. I mean, just like I've. You said, you know, before, man, look, you know, we all go through, you know, go through shit. You know, you still, you know, man, priority was recording. 
mm-hmm. which was understandable. I was in the dark. Come on, bro. Come on, man. We we talking about me. This, this like when you talking about making rent and family stuff going on. I mean, y'all was there when my grandmother passed away. Mm-hmm. We recorded that night. Mm-hmm. And then it got nothing to do with oh, it's recording over everything. I literally got the news the same night y'all came to record. I didn't know I was gonna get that news that night. Yeah, I don't even know which video it was, but it's just and that was one of the toughest things for me. I just hate hearing niggas' excuses. Like if if you got something going on, say that man. Hey, I can't make it because this. I respect you a thousand percent. Versus. I ain't gonna say shit. And yeah. I'm gonna guess what happened to Brandon. I'm gonna guess what happened with his situation. I'd rather you come to me as a man and be like, hey, this happened. And then I'm like, okay, cool. I can respect you for telling me you got this. That's why I hate when people lie to me. It's like, for what? Like, tell me what you got going on. I can respect you for that. Then the, nah, I'm gonna. I'm yeah, I see what you're saying. I mean, like yeah. I said, I know this, it was a, you know, it was a, you know, bad, you know, decision for me to to go that route, but it's like I was, you know, I was let's see how I put this. With VOD clothing and whatnot, you know, of course photography wise too, I you know, I was there. You know, of course I did my part. And uh, you know, even you know, uh you know, investing, you know, money into VOD and whatnot. But there was many times where, you know, I dropped the ball and yet you know, it's feel like all that just piled up. And I'm like, look, bro, I'm constantly just fucking up. And, bro, I was tired of you, like, I don't say dealing with it, but I was just tired, tired of, like, damn, this all this, this man does. Like, you know, I can never be, you know, a steady, like, you know, solid dude, you know, when it comes to the grind. You know, and all that, all that just sunk in. I'm like, look, all right, you got Ross, you know, you know, he doing the editing. I'm like, all right, cool. You know, man, it's like, I was just tired, you know, you know, telling him, like, man, this, that, and the third. Like, look, my bad, you know, for this, my bad for doing that, my bad for doing that. This is like, I couldn't. You know, I didn't, I don't want to tell this man, you know, and I don't want to hear, you know, the same, you know, it's like this, <laughs> this, this a, a cycle, yeah. you know. Like I said, I'm keeping 100, you know, at one point, I was like, you know, you most, you know, loyal, you know, friend when it comes to the VOD and whatnot, you know, staying up, you know, damn near all night, you know, printing shirts. But yet, there's been many times I also fucked up as well. And, you know, I just felt like, hey, you know, when it comes to the team, you know, it's, you know, it's like a unit. You know, everybody has to, you know, do their part. I'm like, look, I was, I let my personal issues, you know, pretty much take over, you know, my my grind or my productivity. I mean, it just, I couldn't, you know. I was strong, you know, to a certain point, but like I said, man, 20, 2019 and like 2020, you know, it was just, it was rough. So. And you know what? And, and out of all the issues we didn't have, man, because we didn't have a lot of bullshit and have, you know, me and Ross wasn't on the greatest terms on a lot of things, you know, and it was never just, it was just wanting everybody to, to want it just as bad. Right. That's it. I just want everybody to want it just as bad. You know, because I know your moms. You know my moms. I know your moms. And I, I just seen us as homies hanging out. Like, man, yeah, I want to buy my mom this. My mom going through this. You know, such and such sick. And I was just like, man, we gotta do something. I, it was no matter what it was, I was like, bro, let's do something to change the narrative. Let's change, you know, how we grew up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And let's let's be that shift in our generation. Let's break that generational curse. Man, let's you know, let's man, I don't know. I was just like, man, like there's too much goddamn talent around. Just like now, we got friends now with so much goddamn talent. It, it just feel like wasted fucking potential mm-hmm. because niggas just don't. You know what I'm saying? Like, I and me personally, I hate idolizing other people where I know I can be on that same pedestal. You know, you got so, niggas be like, oh, such and such is bomb singer. Such a, yeah. No, nigga, you a bomb singer. <laughs> mm-hmm. Why we not praising you like that, nigga? 
You know what I'm saying? It's because I feel like niggas don't give them, they don't go for it. They just be okay with settling and shit, and everybody cool with tweeting the good ass tweet, but they ain't down with putting this shit into play. We can tweet this shit, we can repost the realest shit in the world, but when it comes into our court, when the ball is in our hand, what are we doing? And you know that. You know, that's we that fear, that's that doubt. Man, I, and that's... I'm there, bro, but I was just like, man, we, we can make, we can. It's just you. You just have so much. It's so many people with so much potential. And that was the same thing for you, bro. And it's it's it's, it's always been out of love, bro. Because I see things in people that they don't see in themselves, and you know, it's it's just one of the things where even even for yourself, you've been there many nights. We've had some real deep conversations yeah. um, with with the squad, and it's just people people really. They they there, but they just it takes another person to make make that shit happen. You know? True, but um, this is powerful. Mm, it definitely is, man. <laughs> you know, it's much is, needed. This you is know? like one of the therapeutic. You know, what yeah. I'm saying? I guess this is what happens at things because we need to have this more often with some other people. <laughs> get some shit off. Well, hey, bro, look like it's gonna be the infamous table then. <laughs> so, question. Where do we go from here? Like, what what change? I mean, what happens? I mean, I mean, I pretty much, um, I told myself I wouldn't. First of all, even if they would let me come back, you know, to the channel, I definitely got to do my part. Like I said, you know, we move as a unit. You know, it's on the right. Fortunately, yes, I have learned the skills of editing. So, I'm um, proud of myself, you know, definitely. So, yes, definitely, you know, it was a huge uh, achievement for me. So, no, um, I mean, I'm with it. Like I said, uh, throughout the, you know, year and a half, you know, just seeing the channel grow here and there. The countless people still hit me up because my number was still on the in the clutch page and they would call me at random hours of the night trying to reach y'all, you know. And this nigga changed his Instagram handle. Random people, well, yes, yeah, that too. That annoyed me too. I'm like, this nigga would change his Instagram so people can't direct that question of where's trip really is. That didn't that didn't help. I mean, they somehow still, you know. But like I said, it wasn't I wasn't trying to alienate nobody. You know, I wouldn't be like, man, fuck y'all. I don't want, you know, it was none of that. You know, I appreciate the countless support. You know, me being gone still hit me up. Yo, so-and-so, you want to see, man, you okay still, so and this and that. Yes, you know, I reached out to, you know, many of them. I still have some. I haven't yet. But words can't describe how much I appreciate y'all, man. And like I said, you can't put a price on it, man. Like, you know, even though with me dealing with my issues, man, I'm helping y'all too. You know, of course, with Dove and Ross, being in a video, you know, you know, helping y'all, you know, with our content. But, um, what was I at? Damn, what's my what mm -hmm. Um, pretty much, I mean, it's, I'm still confident, you know, in the channel. Like I said, I'm, I'm proud of the channel. You know, it's just constantly going up. So, it's on y'all, you know, I'm willing to join, you know, to come back. You know, that's it. You know, it's up to y'all. Well, um, I will say this though. 100% mm -hmm. no, no more disappearing. Because, like I said, this past year, you know, it was, you know, it was, it was a, it was a life lesson. You know, can't take nothing for granted. And pretty much, man, you got to grind it up, you know, regardless of what you're going through. Don't. Felt like this was a blessing, you know, and I, I walked away from it, and you know, hey, I thank God and I thank the homies that you know I'm here right now, you know, recording this video. So, well, it's it's what y'all want. I know me and uh, Dub we had a conversation before we, you know, what decided was gonna do this, and we both agreed. You know what I'm saying? If you was to come back, which I I think you know what I'm saying we wouldn't have a problem with. Of course, things would have to be different than it was last time, bro. Like, 
you know what I'm saying? And that's why I, it was it was cool to see you, you know, editing and posting it on your story because I was like, Marvin. that's something we weren't getting before. Yeah. So, and that, this is before we even, you know, was even thinking about it, like, well, before we, like, <clears throat> we're going to publicly, you know, do this video and yeah. see if Brandon's going to come back just to see you doing that just on your own. Yeah, right. That was like, okay. Yeah. All right. So if you on that time and if you serious, because at this point, bro, Millie, that's not far off. That's, it's, not it's, it's damn near like tomorrow type mm -hmm. stuff for us at this point. Right. And it's not to be cocky or anything. Right. We know it's coming. It's just when it comes, that's when, you know what I'm saying, it goes to even a higher level. So at this point, you know what I'm saying, it comes down to people around us, the people that we got associated with us, we all on that same mind of, we ain't trying to hurt for nobody, bro. I, I ain't going back to 95. <laughs> I, I can tell you that now. I ain't going back. I'm saying, fuck that. <laughs> I'm not going back, bro. I Multiple strains of income. Yeah, yeah that's the so at this point, it, it's going to all depend on you. And you know what I'm saying? If you really want it, and you really want to be a part of it, you really want to get to that point where you can be like, hey, I'm putting my two weeks. I did my thing, but I got bigger things going on for me. Appreciate y'all. I'm out here. Then cool. Let's do it. But if, you, if you're if you not on that time and you just, it, you, you know, you just kind of going through the motions, it's not going to work, bro. Right. So if you on that time frame and you on that mindset where, all of us, the people that's in this room, the people that's been with us doing the podcast, the people we have conversation with almost every day right. about what we can do to better the content, then I'm all for it, bro. I would love to have you back. I know they would love to have you back. Yeah, and so we cool. we all, we go to the top, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's all I care about. Everything else, we know what happened in the past. And we not those type of individuals like, oh, fuck Brandon, bro. He ain't never coming back type shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, nah, bro. Like, life is too short. We talked about it all the time. Life is it too is. short. So, you know what I'm saying? You a solid dude, bro. It's just, you know, we all have our mistakes. But we can always come together. Right. And, you know what I'm saying? God has put each other, put each other, all of us together for a reason. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So That's true. I believe it's, that. It's no point of destroying that reason for personal, you know, for personal issues. Right. When you know you got some people, God-fearing people, with you that care about you and they love you. You know what I'm saying? So let's get it together. That's all I want to see. Let's get it together, bro. Yeah, no, let's, let's, well, grow, let's grow that in because at one point in time when I was at Grass League, we think we were like, mm -hmm. Yeah, I seen the video. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, it's, you know, to be expected. Yeah. I mean, because it, it was. We'll one one back. <laughs> no, it was no. We didn't. You no, know, we, had, exactly. we didn't know where your head was. Exactly. And, mm -hmm. Yeah. And, you know, we still had a little bit of like animosity that we still had right. to kind of. Mm -hmm. You know, because again, that's all built up tension that just kind of went nowhere. It just mm -hmm. kind of went. It had no way. It was no clarification. Mm -hmm. and, you know, you know, real ending to whatever we had going on. But, man, look, I feel like the chair is always been yours. Um, I just feel like now we on a different level of mentality. Yeah. As far as how we communicate, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? It's like, hey, are you good to record this day? A B C D E. Right. You can work day. around your schedule. Like, yeah, it's you know. it's whatever at this point. Like, cause we at that point, man. It's there's no time to to waste anymore, bro. Like we not promised not. tomorrow, That's so true. it's like shit. We gotta work around your schedule. Cool. Let's communicate. Let's get these vids out. Cause trust them, believe when they see your ass on there, oh, when they man, see this video, crazy, bro. and then they hear, oh shit, he's coming back. Lord have mercy. We might get a million after that. I'm being man, honest. When that be something, man. <laughs> I'm being. gonna be tuning this on. Oh, I got y'all. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> <laughs> With a pinky up, <laughs> but nah, man. I'm I'm just all. I know he he on the same mindset, bro. If you with it and you truly with it, let's do it. Bro. Hey, it's, I on. miss this. Like I said, I miss record. You know, even well, you know, new, yeah. well, I mean, yeah, you know, oh very nice too. Yeah. But you know, <laughs> but I miss this. You know, yeah. just the whole you know the atmosphere, the energy. You know, even last weekend, you know, Dove's birthday party. 
that's the most laughs I've had in like a past year and a half, man. And laughter is the perfect medicine. And well, that means I have to add so. another little uh, lower thirds now. I got to put mm -hmm. the true Billy back. Wow. Yeah, I know. I had to delete it years ago. I'm like, oh, well, this yeah. is cool. <laughs> but now I got to add it back. <laughs> you see the jackass is See, that's why, yeah. <laughs> she but, she. but nah, yeah. man, hey. Yeah, he wasting no, yeah, he wasting no time with that shit. Right? Damn, yeah, no, he, he right. deleted your Ross is like, yeah, fuck that. Man. Okay. <laughs> but nah, man. but you know, it's all you know. All water under the bridge. Let's um, let's let's get it, bro. That's all I care about. Definitely, man. Like I, I said, want I, you to be able to be in the situations we in, bro. Be back. So you know, what I'm saying that that's really what it was. It's like, well, it's funny. We actually had a conversation. It was months ago. Me and was just chopping it up, just you know, having our uh, what's that moment? The the sipping on the Corona, chilling with the feet up moment. But we was just chopping it up. <laughs> he was like, "Damn, bro, that nigga Brandon was supposed to be here with us, bro." Oh man, don't tell me that. Man. We had that actual worse. conversation, like, bro, that nigga was supposed to be here with us. I took over the shoe roll, and I'm not even the sneakerhead guy. I just like. Fucking Nikes. I was right. like, please, please. You, you low-key been stunning on me. I'm like, okay, <laughs> no, I'm not even. I felt like I'm in that day. This, well, I walked away from it. Tells you rich. Oh, yeah, I believe you. Here we go. Hey, we go, bro. Like I said, with. <laughs> he don't wear the same clothes twice. I don't. But don't we're not yeah, talking about it. Yeah, See, he, he let that slide, too. Damn. Ah, damn, man. Yo. Bougie ass. Nah, uh, I, I wore this, like. A couple months ago. Bro, a couple months ago. Was, yeah, you can look at the pictures. This ain't that a couple months ago. Hey, you gonna find me in the black tee? <laughs> hey, but cool. nah, man, you were supposed to be there with us. Yeah, and, man. You know what I'm saying? That's all I want for you, bro. That's all I want you for yeah. you to be able to, you know what I'm saying, really benefit from the platform that we all yeah. were a part of. It's, it wasn't just one person. We all do. We got the original three Migos. You know what I'm saying? Sure. You know what I'm saying? So it's 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 time for us to bring our culture back. And once you know again, I'm like, saying? congrats on your separate channel too. Appreciate you know, it. Appreciate got it. Got branched off of the main clutch mm -hmm. channel. Also, you, you know, with you. I'm gonna need my ten percent. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, I knew, man, bro. I wanted to say that so bad. I'm like, nah, I ain't gonna, <laughs> I ain't gonna joke about that. Club no, no. night, like, club <laughs> night, no. bro. No, even when you know the the you know the other videos you have with Nisha too, you know I mm -hmm. feel like that's another yeah, you know channel. But, with it, so. And you know, hey, like I said, if I wasn't able to come back to come back to the channel, I had my skills in editing. So of course, you, know, you, you, do your shit. you uh, already man. know. <laughs> in the hey. <laughs> too. <laughs> it's happening, you know. Well, shit, I'm with it, man. Definitely, hey. Like I said, you know, my mentality, you know, has definitely been different. So you know, the past couple months, so. Yeah. All smiles, good energy. All smiles, good energy, man. Communicating. Yes, communication. Yes, I'm going to know the hell out of both of y'all, too. Just yeah, to make sure. Us, nigga. We so, be like, hey, join the group call. Right. Right. <laughs> That's literally how it be. Just join the group call. What right. we talking about? <laughs> For real. Right. So, Thank I'm you, with man. it, bro. It's right. glad to. Too, it's good to have you back in here, man. Yeah. Glad to be sure. here. Like I said, no beef, folks. Oh, no. It was never no beef. Never no beef. Just a misunderstanding, but I'm glad we on, we on the same page. Definitely. Clutch Squad yeah. is always the best squad, and now we really about to turn it up on you know, Already, bro. Mm-hmm. I had to, man. Mm -hmm. Flipping. You, right. you practice in the mirror, huh? Man, honestly, I, I was a little rusty with last weekend. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get right this I know. You'll get right, bro. It, it, <laughs> it's just like, you know. It's going to take some time. It's just you rhythm, know? bro. You'll, you'll yeah. get it back, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. You know? But, yeah. I gotta go edit them. Just like I got wings. Ross said, fuck, see, he, uh, I got he it. been wanting to get this over yeah, with. It's a minute, don't worry. It's time to show it twice. Damn. This is that guy. <laughs>
Beautiful. 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 Beauti